Yeah. So how does that work if you get denied at customs for any oh. reason? Do you have to pay for a fee to come back? Yeah. How did all these cars get up here? Was it really like people lining up at 5 a.m.? It looks real good. Yeah, put that on. Yes, just get it in there. We're already on the loop road and we got 12 feet, two inches. Ooh, that would take off the AC for sure. It's actually nerve wracking to go through it now. There's a lot of units out there one or two years old. Pandemic builds and- Oh yeah, yeah the COVID builds and stuff. So yeah, you gotta kind of be really... careful on the quality, but have an inspection for sure. Look at that. Okay, go stand down there. Gonna, that is... Stand over there. <laughs> you go stand over there. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's embarrassing to talk about these things. Letting some of these routine maintenance things go by the wayside and then paying the price later and having it to share with all of y'all, I don't like doing it. Home sweet home. There we are. I guess we're off to the left over here. Let's see if uh, Christine and Ed are here. You, okay. You have to meet them. They're really nice. I think they're pulling out and going to Canada today. I, I'm really curious to see how they landed that. Just pull over here to the right. Nicely done, Nene, nicely done. We're not blocking anyone here. Woo! We just oh want to come God. say hi. Oh my Great. gosh, this is beautiful. Come on in, come on in. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, uh, Ed? Ed, right. Ed, okay. He did a good job. <laughs> he reminded yeah. you of everything. Yes, yes. I I, are you? I was gonna put some of this on foot. Are Absolutely. You? Oh, okay. I just want to make whatever, sure you're okay with me. Whatever being... you want to do. Oh Absolutely. man. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to barge in. No, I'm <laughs> sitting here stuck in the barge. Doing dishes and everything. <laughs> Your rig is beautiful. I'm just like, wow. This the way you have story. it decorated, yeah, so, it's well, gorgeous. This is. The reason why we like this is, you know, when you get to a certain age, you got to have your own bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you got your own bathroom. So the, 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 the attraction of this was we had a bath and a half. We yeah. had to have a bath and a half. That was our main. Yeah. And we liked, we liked the lighter color. We didn't like the darker yeah. colors. Yeah. But like a guy had this modern. used. I mean, it was, we bought it with 7,000 miles on it. How do you guys go about finding it, if you don't mind me asking? We went, uh, I was on Facebook Marketplace. So home is in Florida right now. And then home you, you do right like. Now, we moved back to Florida. <laughs> How do you guys, do you guys recommend doing the used thing? It seems pretty like a nice avenue to go. Yes, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of units out there, one or two years old. People that bought them during the pandemic and now, but then you there's know, whatever. There's stuff about pandemic builds and oh yeah, else. the COVID builds and stuff. So builds. yeah, you but gotta kind of be really... careful on the quality, but have an inspection for sure. You yeah. Know, you, you advocate that. I certainly advocate that. The gentleman that owned this, he had just bought it from from a an RV lot, had it all inspected, and then he developed some issues where you couldn't have it. It was two years old with 7,000 miles, and it was half the price of a new one. You guys are see. going to Nova Scotia tomorrow? Are, You're leaving? Tomorrow. Yeah. So if you've not done it. No. Never done it. So we went to. The, the cat. It's called the cat. It's a, it's a high-speed ferry that used to. They also use that for they military have a, transport. They have a twin to okay. that, which is a military transport. Okay. So you can carry a lot of weight really fast. And, and you book a spot, and they, you just back those in. You would have to back your vehicle. Oh. So you book according to how many feet you need. Correct. Okay. And then they, and they charge you a fee. Oh. Uh, our fee, I think, was about was we had a deal was and the season was four hundred bucks for the for the and per person was a hundred so total six hundred dollars. Okay. okay, for one way or round one trip. Way. One way. Okay, wow. And how long does it take to? It's three and a half hours. We load up uh, just down the road here. Three and a half hours later, we're in Yarmouth, uh, Nova Scotia. And if you want to do the whole Nova Scotia Peninsula, that's kind of fine. You can go into Prince Edward Island. Say the border crossing itself. Yes. When does that uh, all take place? Do you guys have you to do, actually you, cross? Yeah. Right. So when you before? cross, you'll go into a lane. Okay. And that lane has the custom. So you go there and they'll come and talk to you. And this will all be You'll before you get on the boat? No, after. So you exit the boat. Okay. And then you drive through a customs lane. So same thing. If you go, oh. if you drive into Bar Harbor here, you can see the, the ferry and you can see where the people coming off the boat will yeah. come through the U.S. Oh, customs. Wow. So how does that work if you get denied at customs for any oh. reason? Do you have to pay for a fee to come back? Yeah. But I don't think, I mean, for the most part, unless you have some issues. Sure, sure. Yeah, so the, the, yeah you never. Right. There's a list. You right. know, drugs, obviously. Right. Even though they're legal in Canada, you can't bring them across. Yeah. Firearms. No firearms, weapons, firearms, right. Uh, you know, even, even uh, things like... Bear uh, spray. All those things are... Yeah, lot to spray. consider, lot to consider. And, and I just think it's interesting that you have to take the boat ride before you go, yeah. and then yeah. go through customs yeah. rather oh, yeah. than like doing- what if something happened, they'd send you back. Right, exactly. Yeah. On the pet, we've had to do some research about, you know, what they just changed the law in August and they kind of changed it back. 
and made some adjustments, but yeah. we had to make sure we have paperwork on the dog to make sure that, not so much about going into Canada, that seems a bit easier, but coming back from Canada, right. making oh, yeah. sure that we've got the right rabies and, as, as, and as, a, as a pet owner, just make, just do the reading. And the food. The food, they're, they're really strict about meats and certain Produce. things. Yeah. So you want to make sure you don't bring any of that. So like today that. is yeah. a eat the rest of our food type of day, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> really nice. So you can see we're thawing hot dogs. Oh, smart <laughs> move, smart move, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and going to eat bananas. Thank Harvard. you guys for inviting us yeah, into your you. lovely Sorry, RV. ever plan on visiting this area doing Acadia National Park or more specifically the drive up Cadillac Mountain to see the sunrise they have created a reservation system on reservation.gov and what you need to know about that is they take uh, 20 to 30 percent of reservations ahead of time but 70 percent of the reservations are released two days prior so it is a situation where you got to be on your computer you got to be ready to go and you got to be fast today we are gonna try to steal a ticket so we can go drive on Wednesday morning to see the sunrise at Cadillac Mountain. Okay, we're on the main website here for the National Park. Vehicle reservations is what you wanna click on. 30% of Cadillac Summit Road sunrise and daytime vehicle reservations are available to purchase 90 days in advance. Holy cow, I'm getting so nervous because I have four minutes. Okay, I'm on the page and as you can see, sold out, sold out, sold out. And then for two days in advance, it says no reservations, no reservations. As soon as it hits 10 a.m., you gotta refresh your screen. Another hack I have. So if you don't get the reservation, here's what I want you to do because I missed this yesterday also. When people click it, it takes them to a checkout screen that gives them about 15 minutes to finalize their reservation. There are some people that don't end up finalizing because they decide, oh, I don't wanna go this day. Oh, the weather's gonna be bad. But at 10.15, um, apparently there was a few of them that opened up and then when I went to click it, it was already sold out again. So you have a second chance. Okay, we have exactly 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, we got 40 seconds. I'll just take the honey's credit card because it's on him. Okay, we're clicking here. Okay, we have 10 seconds. I'm gonna refresh the page now. Refresh it again. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Available, request tickets. I got it. Holy cow, it's literally just that fast. Okay, so I'm in the checkout and I have 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding so fast. It's probably the coffee. Okay, so one Cadillac Summit Road Sunrise Reservation is allowed per vehicle every seven days. Yes! We got it, guys. We got it. Uh, good morning. It's an early one, about 4.27 in the morning. Heading up to Cadillac Mountain. Don't know what to expect. Early bird gets so warm, right? Morning. Hi, hi. You can see the northern lights from here. <laughs> so quiet out there. I guess the gates open at five o'clock. Yeah. Okay. You find it? Does the 25 minute drive sound about right? Yes. Did you do it to the summit? Uh, I think you got it. Just curious to see how chaotic it's gonna be to go if it's not, because it's the end of the season. What is it, like September 25th? I don't see another vehicle. There's no one in sight. Yeah. Maybe everyone forgot and slept down. Oh, good. Good. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. I have those for you. All right, have thank you. Day. Thank you very much. Got to put our America the Beautiful to the test here. Now we summit. I'm just like, how did how did all these cars get up here so fast? Uh, it opens at 5 a.m. Did they all? Was it really like people lining up at 5 a.m.?
take some extra clothes. It's a little chilly up here on the summit. And just be ready for lots of people. Lots of people. Today's a little foggy, but fingers crossed that it clears up. It's really cool to be able to overlook the ocean and see all those boats out there. I like that. Ooh, it's 10 minutes past sunrise, so it's down there. We can't see it. <laughs> we gave it our all. We tried. We tried, guys. I'm sure it's really pretty. Yeah. I mean, we got to see some cool views before the fog rolled in. You know, we still got to experience a little bit of Cadillac Mountain. It's hard to give a Hanks rating system on this because... Yes. You know. Yes. But let's be real. Even if it was extremely spectacular, it still would have been lower because of the crowds. Because of the crowds, it's not a 10. That sunrise the other morning, though, I was pushing it. That sunrise, because nobody was there. Nobody. Just us, and we were by the water. We saw dolphins. I mean, that was like probably a 9. At least. Yeah. You ready to go get some breakfast? Yes. I'm getting hungry. Well, we did it. We ended up taking the truck into Bar Harbor. We did what everyone said not to do. See, that's the problem. When you challenge the hangs like that, we're like, nope, we're gonna go do it. It's 7 a.m. and we want some good breakfast. Too, too bad right now. No, I, I get, I'm thinking people are saying, don't take your truck on a Friday at 3 p.m. <laughs> it's probably what it is. Pay here, pay here for parking. That's it's not, not bad cool. at all. So I think that should do it. Look at those fall colors over there. Hey, we just got here just in time. We got here just in time. Jeez Louise. I know, like five cars just pulled in all what at once. What on earth? Everyone's coming from Cadillac Mountain, I bet. This is cool. Look how cute like this, this is. This is good. I feel like I'm in the RV. I know. Right at home. Uh, coffee. I'll take coffee. Yes. Uh, no thanks. No thank you. It's legit. Like, this is like the ultimate breakfast place for sure. When they have these kind of place maps, it's legit. Good morning. Well, that's how I knew when I saw the pictures. <laughs> the hot thing here is their blueberry pancakes. Kind of locked in tight here with this molding piece here. It's like you're on a ride. I don't know what I want because I want it all and I want it now. Oh, the waffle is to put blueberries inside. Sounds pretty good. And yeah, waffle. and then like blueberry syrup with that. I guess they're known for their blueberries here. I was able to still get something blueberry. Their muffins, their blueberry muffins. So I feel like I got something. Can I get anything else right no. now? No, that looks wonderful. Thank you. Wow. Ooh, I got the. Look at that. The omelet. Blueberry muffin. There it oh is. Goodness. In the flesh. Look at this sauce. You're doing it, honey. You're getting the blueberry main. Oh my goodness. It looks real good. Yeah, put that on. Yes. Just get it in there. <laughs> get out of here. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Potatoes in here. Peppers, onions. Mm. Did I hit the spot? Mm -hmm. I love a good breakfast like this. Oh, one last sip before we go. I'll let you pay today. Thank you. Morning. Good. So good. All right. Hey, parking starts in two minutes. <laughs> Look at that cool car. Love that. Now I'm worried that we're going to miss some fall colors if we do New Hampshire and Vermont after this. You want to drive? <laughs> Wait, I, you're driving. It's another day in the Hanks family. What do you think I had to do the keys for? <laughs> for a cool shot? <laughs> I don't know, you're a YouTuber. We did the blueberry something you did blueberry waffles i did a blueberry muffin so we got our main blueberry fix okay when we met brian and buffy when we were in um camden uh brian shared this app called guide along 
And I think I have the correct one. I remember he showed it to me on his phone and it was red looking. So hopefully I have it correctly, but this app gives you guided tours while you're driving. I was looking to see if maybe Acadia had one where you could drive and it tells you what you're seeing as you're driving. It's basically like a self-guided tour situation. And it is, and you do have to purchase it, it looks like for $13. That's not a bad price considering you could be in the comfort of your own vehicle looking out your window and have your speakers tell you where to drive, where to pull over, what to see versus having to like get out, read stuff, deal with a map. All right, so Jordan's is a yes. Jordan's is a go. You got our thumbs up. Go check out Jordan's restaurant if you're in Bar Harbor from the Hanks. Hanks approved. Nice job in there, guys. Nice job. kind of how I always imagined Maine would be. Mm -hmm. A little gloomy, just that stormy weather, yeah. nice fall vibes. I wasn't expecting sunshine, honestly, and that's okay. It's a very fitting theme for what, for what I was imagining coming up here. That's a great way of putting it. Like, it could be a cloudy, rainy day, but you're still gonna enjoy it because it's got a cool vibe. A little bit of construction. I wonder how the roads hold up here in the wintertime. And if they use salt to salt the roads, like Pennsylvania, ugh, that salt just eats up your vehicles. So we ended up getting another America the Beautiful Pass. We renewed it when we bought our pass to go up to uh, Cadillac Mountain. So that's pretty nice. And that also gets you into Army Corps of Engineer parks. Like you don't have to pay the day use fee or something. No kidding. Or you get a discount on the nightly stay, something like that, which is, that's pretty cool. Another thing I want to mention about the America the Beautiful Pass is if you're age 62 years or older, you could get a lifetime pass. Just pay a one-time fee and have this forever, which is pretty nice. And also, I think military, for military members, the U.S. government offers a free America the Beautiful annual military pass. So if you are serving, first of all, thank you for your service to our country. And second of all, go get yourself an America the Beautiful pass and go enjoy some nature. We're already on the loop road and we got 12 feet two inches would not make it in the rv oh that would take off the ac for sure oh man that would not be it's, good it's actually nerve-wracking to go through it now i know oh man wow this is already gorgeous so it's all just one way most of it most of it's one way i believe okay Oh, I didn't think we were gonna have to actually show our pass, but I guess we do. Grab that for you. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, can I get some, uh, <laughs> oh. All right. All right, I guess they trust the Hanks just to take on this 27 mile drive themselves. I think we nailed it coming here with the fall foliage too. Yeah. Like to do Acadia at the end of September, because the fall's here. It's not full bloom fall in a week or two. It'll be really, really nice. So kind of plan your trip around then. Summer's great. Um, I'm sure the weather's perfect in the summer, but you know, if you want to tie in a little bit of fall foliage with your Bar Harbor trip, uh, Acadia, I should say, you can definitely do that. Thunder Hole. I wanted to go see that. Can we go see that real quick? Is this it? Like, is this where you go see Thunder Hole? Now I know it's high tide was at 5.30 and it is 8.30 right now. So we might be able to still hear the roar of the ocean. I want to check it out. Look out, Nene coming through. All right. You ladies behave. All right. Get along. <laughs> We, we're good. <laughs> South Dakota, wow, New Jersey. Oh. I just like to see where everyone's traveling from. Does anyone else do that when they go places? Comment, tell me that we're, we can relate on that. Well, this is looking promising. Oh, wow, look at all the waves out there crashing on the rocks. That has thunder hole vibes, if I say so myself. Sounds of the sea. Hearing thunder here is all about timing. The best time to witness the boom. Spree is two hours before high tide, so we missed it. 
if the ocean is calm or the tide is low, you may just hear it gurgling. It looks like they have like a little cave system in here that shoots it up and then it causes a roar. Oh, whoa, look at Nays down there already checking it out. I'm missing out. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Oh, wait, you can still hear it. That's so neat. Look at that. Okay, go stand down there. My goodness, that is <laughs> incredible. Go stand over there. You go stand over there. No, you. <laughs> That's super cool. Good idea, pulling over. Let Easy. me see if I could pick up the audio much better for you guys. Hello, hello, Nene coming in. Folks, we got a big one coming in. We got a big one coming in. Here we go. Now I know why they call it Thunder Hole. That was great audio. Look at all this coastline, how amazing that is. Yeah, the cool. rocks, the forest, the ocean. It just all works really nicely. Yeah, yeah, Katie, should be on your list. Oh, 100%. I'm just saying. Well, that was amazing because, I mean, there's steps down into it. So far, the Park Loop Road is awesome because you can just pull over when you want to see something, see it, and then hit the road again. Well, let's go see what other adventures await the hang. <laughs> this is so neat. It's like we're in a, a story. Like an enchanted forest. You know, being on this road kind of gives me the similar vibes of my home state, especially in Northern California from where I am from, Redwoods National Park area, absolutely gorgeous. So it, it definitely reminds me of that a lot here. So where exactly are we driving? Are we driving all the way around this? Yeah. Wow. Like we started up here. So oh, we're really? almost halfway already. Oh, we started up there and now we're making our way down. Yeah, so we're down towards the bottom. Oh, okay, gotcha. It just hugs the coastline all the way down. Yeah, you don't really need a GPS. You just kind of have to follow. Once you get onto it, you just stick, stay on it until it tells you you're done. Any tolls on this road? <laughs> Hopefully not. You know, back in 2017, when we first hit the road, it's crazy to see how far we've come. You know, you imagine getting to do all these things out on the road, but over the past seven years, I felt like we just learned to take it slow, take it at our own pace, and realize that there's really no rush. So just exploring things on our own has been nice. I never imagined we'd finally make it to Maine. I always thought we would, but I mean, we're here now and it's just incredible to be here. So all that to say, the Hanks just want to encourage you, take things all according to your time schedule. Don't feel like you're too far behind in life, but at the same time, don't wait for life to come to you, if that makes sense. Seven years full time and just getting started, right? That's right. There's never a perfect time to start. You know, we could have put off this main trip because we could have said, well, it's already July. It's actually already August and we didn't even start the trip and it's gonna be too late and we should do Maine when it's peak season. But we just said, you know what? We have no plans, we have no reservations, let's just go. Yeah. And it's been working out really great. So if you're waiting for the perfect scenario, it just doesn't exist. You just gotta do it. I'm actually still surprised after having to take this truck into GMC that we had to get all those repairs. My question is, we got a 100,000 mile inspection done back in San Diego when we were there. 100,000 mile inspection, I try to stay up on those um, intervals where you need the truck maintenance done according to what the owner's manual says and they didn't catch any of this I, I don't know I guess I'm just a little surprised I thought they might take it upon themselves to do a more thorough exam of the truck but it sounds like the more research I do that's just not the case for example an alignment on the truck that's not included in a hundred thousand mile inspection I mean these are additional things you get a request to have added on so it was a big learning curve on my end and I just want to bring that to your attention as well look at these lakes and the mountains and the trees this is paradise wow as far as the alignment goes I think it needs to be said that you get used to the way your vehicle drives so we really didn't notice any significant pulling to one direction or the other it was the wear and tear on the tire that was the giveaway Needless to say, I want to encourage you guys, because it was another learning lesson on my part, to stay up on these routine maintenance things. Even though you're not noticing that it's sticking out like a sore thumb, it's probably worthwhile to write it down somewhere so that you can stay on top of it in your travels. All this to say, yeah, 
it's embarrassing to talk about these things. Letting some of these routine maintenance things go by the wayside and then paying the price later and having it to share with all of y'all, I don't like doing it, but we do it because we wanna help you guys learn from our mistakes. We wanna be completely transparent with you so that you could be like, I'm getting out on the road and not doing what the Hanks did. Instead, I'm just gonna be proactive, get it done the right way the first time. That's right, we're here for you. Yeah, and for everyone who reaches out and leaves comments or emails, we do read all the comments. We're not able to respond to every single one because it's just us two that are handling everything on the back end. So, but just know that we are reading them and we really do appreciate the love and support you guys give us. Come enjoy this for yourselves. You gotta come check out this drive. It is absolutely incredible, breathtaking views. You get everything all from the ease and the comfort of your personal vehicle. So that is a huge win-win. And to top it off, you get to stop along the road at so many different uh, touch points that have some wonderful things to offer, like that Thunder Hole, which was really cool too. Come check it out, Hank's approved. This is now the line to get into Cadillac Mountain. Cadillac Mountain, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, it was not that long when we came in this morning. Now I get it, they have to, all of them have to stop at the gate to get in, but wow, I didn't think people were like crazy about going up there any time of day. I thought it was like morning it would be crowded. Wow, finally traffic. So like everyone wants to do Cadillac Mountain. I guess everyone wants to go up maybe to the high, it's the highest point supposedly on the eastern, like the eastern coast. And you were also mentioning it as one of the first places you're gonna see the sunrise. One of the first places you will see the sunrise on the eastern border, is that correct? Yeah, the internet will say it's the first place that you'll see it because you're so high up, but other people will say that you could see it elsewhere. It's controversial. There's other places you, know you can how see it, it for the first time.